So we moved from Encinitas to Carmel Valley. It's about 20 minutes away and I completely underestimated the amount of time it would take to declutter, minimize, and pack and everything. This is the last day in the Encinitas house. So we're eating breakfast and then we're gonna be packing and um, you know. Yeah, packing so much. Do we pack everything. We pack our phones. We even pack these. Yeah. Clutter everywhere, and um, we're just hoping that you know, in our new place, we can keep it uh, clutter free. We've organized all the stuff into boxes here. Some furniture is gonna sell, some furniture is gonna go. I'm trying to pack up the garage here. In the garage, tools, screws, all kinds of things spread around. It took forever to collect them in boxes. We've been trying to downsize watching documentaries like The Minimalists on Netflix, trying to figure out how to uh, live with less and uh, selling things that have some value and other things that we don't use anymore, we just uh, have been throwing away. There were a couple of boxes that we were moving from place to place to place and we just never opened, we just moved to the next place and obviously we didn't need uh, what was inside those boxes. Just have to pack up the rest of the house and tackle one corner at a time. As we were selling and reducing our stuff, and was having a hard time letting go of some things. One thing that certainly is super difficult is getting rid of these sentimental things. Like, what about this? I made this when I was seven years old. Look at that beautiful work of art. My mom kept it for 27 years. It's ridiculous. What about this? Our wedding book. Amazing. It's got pictures of when we first fell in love and when we got married, my wedding dress. This is like so amazing. Look at that. That's love. How am I supposed to get rid of that? Or what about this one? We even have a picture at the back of when Maddie was first born. That's love. And this baby photo album? How am I supposed to get rid of this? So here's the deal. Furniture, bed, mattress, all that stuff can go. Even my favorite bedside tables that my mom purchased from the Amish in Pennsylvania years ago, even those can go. I'm okay with that. My wedding dress, that can also go. I'm finally ready. But there's certain things, the pictures, those are gonna have to go in a box. Those albums, all of those little keepsakes are going in a box. <laughs> I'm gonna send them to the in-laws gonna be one box to go in their basement, and that's it. With all the hassle of the pack, I took the kids to get some ice cream. At a garage sale to sell the larger things. There's a garage sale subculture in San Diego. The garage sale was pretty busy in the morning hours. We made about $200 altogether. The kids even had their own table to sell toys and games. we minimized, we still ended up with a lot of stuff in our new place where we would be for five months before embarking on our trip. I painted this and I'm, I can't bring it to the new house, I mean not the house, when I'm traveling so I'm going to take a picture of it. So, well I said to my mom, Mom, can I sell my American Girl doll? And she 
She kind of said no. I begged her and I told her, Mom, I can't bring it traveling. It's way too big. I have other toys I like. We looked on eBay to see how much other people were selling American Girl dolls for. And it looked like it was like $50. So we sold her for $50. Someone bought it. Now they're going to have some fun with it. And one day they might sell it. Okay, so it's looking pretty good? Yes, got all the crumbs. It's beautiful car, ready for sale. We're downsizing and we are getting rid of all our stuff. So this car, I'm living close enough to work now that I'm gonna bike, get to pass it on to another Subaru lover. Especially this car, because you bought it brand new, you really took good care of it and sometimes you were worried about parking it near other cars and you didn't want it to get scratched. Getting rid of this is gonna be like a stress reliever. Oh, good, good call. Yes, I agree. I went to the donation center. In my trunk for some reason, I had this tiny box filled with my elementary school yearbooks. I couldn't get rid of it. I went, I tried, <laughs> I couldn't get rid of it the first time. So it stayed in my car. And the next day when I had more don items for donation, off I went back to the donation center. And that time I realized I wasn't going to look at those yearbooks. I just wasn't. What was I going to see in there? one picture of myself and and it's either going to be super awkward to look through or create too many emotions i haven't looked at my those yearbooks in years why open them again it's just i i toss them they went to donation i don't know why i probably should have put them in the trash but they went to donation <laughs> i don't know who's gonna buy them anyways when you're traveling you don't need all this extra stuff i didn't need it I just don't need it.